So I want to take a look at the header and footer of your printed document. Think about the header footer for a moment. You receive a document, whether it's Excel, Word, whatever it is. A lot of times in the very top portion of your page, roughly half an inch or so, you get to see some additional information. Maybe the title of the document, maybe a disclaimer, the footer. A lot of times you see a page number, a date, maybe it says confidential down there. We got some additional information that I want to have show up at the very top or bottom of the page and have this happen for potentially every page in the document. This is the header and footer. Inside of Excel, there are multiple ways to activate and work with the header and footer. Here, I'm going to go back to page layout view because Microsoft has built the header and footer directly into page layout and it's very accessible and very interactive. Take a look. I'm going to go right back to view and back into page layout. This is the view that we just got done talking about where you can literally see the pages and make adjustments so that it looks good page by page. Now to activate the header or the footer, I'm going to do something in the footer. I'm going to go to my page here. This is just page one where my spreadsheet's at. And I'm going to click down towards the bottom. You'll see that I got three boxes down there, left aligned, a center, and a right aligned area for my footer information. And up at the top, I've got the same thing, but for my header, left, center, and right aligned content. So let's say I want to do the page number. And I want the page number to show up in the center of the bottom of each page. So I'm going to click into the middle area here. This is my footer, and it's the center aligned content. Now, as soon as you click into the footer or the header, you get a new tab at the top of your screen, a header footer tools tab called design. And in there, you got all the options that you can utilize to drop content into the header or footer. Now, like I said, I want to do page number. So I'm just going to come up here, click on the page number. This drops in a little code. It's called ampersand page. If I click out of the footer, I can now see I got a page number. And if I scroll down, here's page two, and it says page two. Let's put something in the header. So I'm going to come up to the header and maybe on the right hand side. I'll click into there. And what I'd like to do here, I print this document out, I send it out to my coworkers, or maybe I throw it up on the network drive, yeah, on, the, on the SharePoint or wherever. The original document perhaps lives someplace else, or maybe the users print it out and they forgot, hey, where did that document live on the network or on SharePoint? Well, a way that we can help ourselves and our coworkers is by adding the path, the location to this document into the header or the footer. Take a look. So I'm currently clicked into the right hand side of my header, right aligned content. I'm going to go back to design and inside of the elements section, I'm going to get the file path. So once again, much like the page number, it puts a little code in there, ampersand path, ampersand file. And if I click away, I've now got the path to that file, the literal address. So now if somebody prints this out, they can always reference back, oh yeah, this document's on the C drive and found here, or on the X drive, or on SharePoint, or wherever it's located at. They have that path right there. It's something small, but it's ultimately gonna make our documents more accessible. And you've got all sorts of stuff you can put up there. I'll go back to design. We got number of pages, like page one of, You've got the date, the time, the file path, the file name, the sheet name. You can put pictures in there. Maybe you got logos you want to put into your header or footer. All sorts of content here to make our documents more presentable or to provide additional information for each page, like the page number. So try this out. Open up your document, go back to view, page layout, activate the header or footer, and try adding some of this content. Give your users that additional information, not just for one page, but it'll show up on each page. Header, top of the page, footer, the bottom. Try it out.